Hi there. If you had difficulties accessing Zoom AI Companion, well, you're not alone. So it turns out the trick is not to use your PMI, your personal meeting ID. If you do that, this option, as you can see, it's not on your screen. When I tried using my PMI, uh, the only one that I saw was the start summary. So you get this window and then you see this little icon indicating that meeting summary and the AI companion side panel are, are enabled. And so that's it. But I was not able to get to this AI companion button until that I scheduled a random meeting. So in case that you don't know how to schedule a random meeting, you can basically go on zoom.us or you can use your client app to schedule a new meeting simply by going to meeting and there's a button right here that says schedule a new meeting. Now, if you still don't see it, it's because you have not manually enabled the AI features on your Zoom. That's brand new that just came out September 5th. So let me show you how to do that. What you want to do is go to account management and then go to account settings. All right. From there, what you're going to do is under account settings, these options are just crazy. So it's under advanced, but you still can see it, right? Because it's just so much going on. So what I typically do whenever I need to enable anything is I go to the very top and I search for what I'm looking for. In this case, AI, I'm going to hit enter and look, all my AI features are currently turned on and that's what you need to do. So once all that is enabled, you can then come back to your setting. Remember, use a random meeting, schedule a meeting that's not your personal meeting room, and now you're able to see everything. So what happens now? I notice as soon as I log in, if I start talking right away and then I click on AI Companion, this panel will open, but it's not going to give me anything. It's going to say not much has happened. So you can't use this feature right away. Now that I have been talking for a little while, look, I'm going to say catch me up. Let me just show you these features one more time. It says catch me up. Okay. During this meeting, Faye has encountered difficulties. I'm explaining the difficulties I was living with, with Zoom AI for the first time. I would say this is actually pretty good. Now, next, click on the three dots. Let me shrink the window a little bit so you can actually see more. Click on the three dots. Was my name mentioned? Let's see. No, your name was not mentioned by other participants, only by myself. What are the action items? So it's going to look for things after the meeting, attend the Microsoft Envision, which I did say, have a meeting with Google Duets AI, write an article, create a mini course. Amazing. So lastly, what are the topics being talked about? Remember, anybody who are joining the meeting now, they can actually see these details. So let's see the summary. So topics so far are difficulties with Zoom AI, scheduling a random meeting and such, and you can upvote and downvote. So please let me know in the comments below if you find this helpful. By the way, I think this is going to be one of several videos I have to create because Zoom AI is now producing even more features. These are just the beginning ones. Um, if you're interested in checking out my existing meeting summary, let me go ahead and show you that real quick. So to find your meeting summary with AI Companion, all you have to do is come inside zoom.us and you'll see on the left hand side, this is a tab and you're going to select the meeting for which you want to view the meeting summary. Once you click into it, you're going to see the date and time, the meeting ID, and there's a quick summary. I would say it looks pretty good. And um, next steps are as follow because I didn't really have much next steps captured. So you're not going to see much here. You have the sharing functionality. I can simply enter an email email address or name for people within my organization. I can also make edits um, because some of the things that are just not going to be captured accurately, where maybe I want to add more details as a producer here, I can capture any necessary next steps. And when I'm done, I can just click on save. Of course, I can also delete the meeting summary as well.